I V M. Long ago, three young men decided to form an alliance and get into a future. The three men were Amar Akbar Anthony, and the film, of course, was beautiful. But we have three other men who formed a geek fruit. Not so interesting story, but their future is all about science fiction, nerd culture, and comic books. That's right. If you're too lazy to read a full book, read a comic book. If you're too lazy to read a comic book, let Geek Fruit tell you about a comic book and comic books. New episodes out on the IVM podcast website, app, or wherever you get your podcasts from. All right. Please note that the language and ideas presented on the show might not be suitable for everyone. If you're under 18, make sure your mom isn't around. If you're over 80, why is your mom around? You're listening to Cyrus Says. Okay, on Cyrus Says, Nakash Aziz, very talented playback singer. He's worked with Rehman. He's worked with Pritham. He's worked with Michael Jackson. He's huge. He's enormous. He's big. Set up. Uh, and he gets upset here. Yeah. Why follow your auntie's advice when you can follow Cyrus Says on Facebook and Twitter to stay updated about the latest shows. Listen, on Cyrus Says, I am no fashion guru. People look at me and laugh. My clothes are terrible. I wear the same outfit, and I'm not in the army. But let me tell you one thing: you must not wear Chinese collar T-shirts and put them inside your bag. That is just wrong in every culture. Whether you're in Sweden or Somalia, they will tell you remove the shirt. If you have a Chinese collar, it stays out. It never goes in. That's the whole idea of China. Everything stays out. Nothing goes in. Okay, that means nothing. It's called Cyrus says. And that's what Cyrus says. Um, welcome to Cyrus Says Special episode with a great singer Not me <laughs> Nakash Aziz Nakash is right here And he's going to tell us about being a playback singer and more But first let me tell you the names he's worked with Pritham Famous Korean musician Oh sorry Famous Indian musician uh, A.R. Rahman Famous rock musician initially And many more big names Nakash has come, learned under them And is slowly going to knock them off And replace all of them And make more money And pay GST And then happily live in New York From where he will base himself And uh, do playback singing Because it's not technology You don't have to be here Yeah, yeah You can definitely. do it from anywhere Yeah, but whatever you said I will try to do that And with respect I, yeah, I'll take uh, care of them Because in our country We have to mention respect <laughs> yeah, You take care of them yeah. <laughs> You tell Pritam They're, Don't worry Go to Seoul They have been He's, very good to me actually yeah. So, yeah. He's a lovely guy Pritam I met him once Very nice Very nice But very I, I find it very uh, difficult To understand Nakash Before we go into you properly uh, When you're big names Like the names you mentioned right. Why do they take The young talent under their wing Because at the end of the day The young talent Will eat into their work I don't think they have that insecurity in the first place. The, that's what I think. So they think you're no talent. That's why they take you under the wing. Probably, probably. You know, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, huh. uh, I don't know about no talent, but yeah, they Sir, I mean, they're very. Don't feel bad. I'm just joking, <laughs> yar. You great talent. We'll cut to a song immediately. Huh. No, but uh, they have been very nice to me, and I have noticed that they're very helpful also, in terms of now. Like Pritham has started this thing called Jam It, where he's got these uh, many music directors. Hmm. uh who compose songs and the films that he cannot do he gives it to them and they all try to make some songs and it's pretty cool actually anyone rahim sir but tell us nakash very quickly how did you get here how did you get under these great names i have no idea actually you know i used to always plan as a college kid how i'll meet in rahim yeah in mumbai only huh. i went to patkar college in goregaon not okay. a very great college but huh. yeah be proud yeah i was patkar i was college. like a king there we have a patkar so. theater in south bombay i'm i'm still very proud to be associated <laughs> with it ha huh. So you were a king then, I mean, you were like the don. Yeah, I was like, I had a great time. Uh, my principal really supported me, yeah. and uh, he never complained if I did not attend lectures and all that. You were known as the singer of the college. Yeah, no? they used to say, I uh, mean, so, they had given me a name called Sonu Nigam. What are you saying? All that, yeah. So because I was winning. Is your voice of, any uh, similar to Sonu's? Actually, that time your style, you were that ta- back then everybody was sounding like Sonu Nigam because In, everybody except Sonu Nigam, <laughs> he started <laughs> sounding like Talat Aziz, and there was a lot of problem because of that. Yeah, yeah. So we used to all aspire to be Sonu Nigam. That mm-hmm. was our aspiration mm-hmm. back then. So yeah, I used to sing all Sonu Nigam songs like. So you were popular in the college. People knew you, and obviously your your sort of label was the guy who sings. He's the Sonu Nigam. Correct. correct. Uh, when you want a competition, send him. When you want a party, send him. When you want a performance, keep him on stage. Correct. That's huh? right. So you built a name for yourself. But you right. were serious about being a musician or just a hobby? I just wanted to do music. I because I figured that you know. Do you play any instrument except the one that we all play? That is that. वो तुम बोल नहीं सकते. As a man, I speak. <laughs> as what was a man once with an instrument that worked. Uh, sorry. So did you do you play instruments as well? Yeah, I play a little bit of 
एवरीथिंग लाइक यू नो छोटा मोटा लाइक जैक ऑफ ऑल ट्रेड मास्टर ऑफ अबीट लाइक एल्विस सो यू कैन प्ले अ लॉट बट दैट्स नॉट योर थिंग योर वॉइस इज योर थिंग नो एक्चुअली आई आई कंसीडर म्यूजिक कंपोजिंग टू बी माय थिंग ओह रियली या या आई लव टू सो यू सी योरसेल्फ एज अ कंपोजर फर्स्ट एंड अ सिंगर सेकंड यस दैट्स दैट्स लाइक माय बिग ड्रीम I'll tell Pritham the bad news. He was happy when you were a singer. <laughs> Sing करने का तो आ जा. Now I'm going to replace him. That's not good at all. Yeah. So you were in Patkar College in Goregaon. It's just a guy who sings. And how did yeah. your life? How did you come here? I I really don't know. But it's very weird, you know, the way things happened, and it just keeps happening. And uh, there are many things that are just happening, and it's really surprising. But life is very entertaining at the end of the day. So I'm very excited to be living this life at least. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because things are great. But how did you get your first break, uh, Nakash? Because everyone want to know that as you make a name for yourself, people know who you are. You'll become bigger, I'm sure, in the next few years. And then everyone want to know the beginning. How did Nakash go from going out and a college to uh, someone who Pritham and Yar Rahman are uh, called by first name? Um, so I don't know where to start. Also, so there's this friend of mine, uh, Shadab, and uh, he's like now the top music engineer in uh, our. country mm-hmm. and uh, you know i think uh, 60% of the work that happens in our countries comes out through his studio mm-hmm. so he suggested my name to amit trivedi when amit trivedi uh, was looking for a singer right so i went and auditioned and uh, i don't know if amit liked or no but he kept a small part of my voice in a song mm. for the film aisha Oh and Aisha! Up, yeah, 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 yeah 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 i remember that film with uh, this one anil kapoor's daughter yes, was her name yes, sonam yes, kapoor ha yes, yes. ha So I have a wife's name. That's why I had to remember. It. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I forgot Sonam Kapoor. I remembered Aisha. Thank God. So I had sung like small bits in the title song. Then after that, I oh, you sang the title song? Just a small bit. Okay. Like, oh, okay. Sunu Aisha, tum jitne koshish kar lo Aisha. This is my line lyrics. <laughs> This is my lyrics. <laughs> Excellent. So, So after that's that, something. So you're in a big film. You're on, t- on the title track, which will play in all the promos. Yeah, I was so excited yeah. that I used to uh, have the CD cover in my car whenever somebody used to ask me. By because, chance, <laughs> because everybody has this habit of asking, "Ki kya chal raha hai aaj kal?" So you had to just show them you're doing something. Uh-huh. So I used to show them. Was this. your name in the credits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, excellent. So it was very exciting. Huh. So after that, I did. I was uh, doing tracks for this show called Mission Ustad, mm-hmm. where A R Rahman was the judge. so we happened to bump into each other in a studio and he came to know that we are doing the tracks for that show hmm. and uh, immediately he offered me work he heard my tracks and he offered me work like would you like to do this and he was working on some what you do that do that again yeah <laughs> would you like to do this a oh, fantastic uh. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen your interview with Rehman sir. Yeah, I was very three, actually, you yeah. you you made yeah. almost made him sing Baba Black Sheep. I Sheep tried months. so hard. You you remember that? <laughs> yes. I tried so hard. I said because his image is so you know. Uh, yeah, it is yeah, his yeah. second image. First he was a rocker, <laughs> you know, yeah, which we yeah. remember also. Anyway, very lovely guy. Very nice. And very actually modest because we did VMAs in '97 uh, Video Music Awards, Achha. where I dropped my bag while we were crossing the road, and he carried my bag for me. Oh. <laughs> I was like, put your Rehman. <laughs> But it was fun. Unfortunately, nobody saw it. Uh, sorry, this is your story. Sorry, Nagash. Let's get back to you. So he sees you in a reality show. He likes the fact that you're doing tracks, and he also calls he, you. Yeah, he offers me work. Then we are waiting there. So I work with this friend of mine, Sargam, and uh, we do tracks together. So we were waiting anxiously outside the studio, like you know how mm-hmm. fathers whose wife is doing delivery wait outside. My God, what a comparison, yar! I saw him look wait. कर रहे थे. He goes straight to pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> But I was that tense, actually. Fair enough. Huh? Uh, so we were waiting. Then sir comes out after like two hours. And like, you know what? I've done most of it. So probably next time. <laughs> we were like, <laughs> so we oh, were, he doesn't hear this. Oh, you think it'll be no, cool? Yeah, he's, he's cool. He's very yeah, cool. Yeah. He's very chill. <laughs> so yeah. So then we had to wait for like six months for him to call me again. Really? Yeah. I was just having coffee with a friend, and I got a call. Okay, there's this friend Aditya Modi who's like, Arman is calling you. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'll be there. Where? So he just. So I worked on Delhi Six. Time. Oh, yeah. Background music. Okay. So yeah. Oh, and very interesting story. But uh, because we are short on time, I want to quickly go to the things that are coming out now. Your maiden single, Hiriye. Yes, yes. Huh? That's, Tell us about that. That's coming soon. That's something that I uh, really am looking forward to because uh, I've spent a lot of money. First of all, <laughs> on doing oh. this, yeah. Okay. Uh, making the video because this is the first time I'm doing something that actually I want it to be. the way i 
एंड इट्स यू कम्प्लीटली यस सो नो एक्सक्यूजेस दिस इज रियली यू कैन से इसका विजन है उसका विजन है दिस इज यू अगर ये नहीं चला तो जिसके मेरे को चांसेस पता नहीं क्या होता है अरे बट एट लीस्ट आई विल नो वेयर आई स्टैंड डोंट वरी यू आर गोइंग यू आर गोइंग नो वेयर यू आर राइट हियर यू आर स्टेइंग इन द बिजनेस शिव पंडित इज दैट एक्टर इन द हॉरर फिल्म आल्सो नो यस ही ही लाइक्स टू बी कॉल्ड शिव नाउ वाई वाई I don't know. He told me hey, these actors have to stop all this nonsense. Yeah. Suddenly they change, put up double E, double F, double P, and all. I mean, no, I can't count. Come on, how are you going to catch up as an audience here? And but but he's a good actor. I saw him in that. I can't yeah, remember yeah. the film's name. Shaitan. 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 Yeah, I think one more after that. Yeah. So he's there uh, in the video. Uh, Nakash, you also there, uh, starring in it. Yeah, I just have a small appearance. Uh, every time you say small appearance, we'll see how much that is. And a fresh, <laughs> what a fresh face. What does that mean? Who's the fresh face? So this is a girl, Priya Bhoyer, uh, and uh, not uh, Priya Varier. No, no, no. Arey Varier. Arey, damn it! <laughs> Missed it by one name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, no, but when I saw that Priya Varier wala thing, I was like, oh, man, something you would have done in Patkar College many years ago. Uh, <laughs> Come on, tell us the truth. You were quite the rascal. No, not huh? not in Patkar. I did that in school. You know, we we were winking very, and all that. Yeah, very romantic. Are we got it? Very romantic. Kids. Is romantic or creepy? I don't know. <laughs> Both romantic. I think creepy. as kids it is okay. If yeah. the girl responds, it's romantic. If the girl gets angry, it's creepy. It's simple. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, we interrupted you. Fresh faces, Priya. Priya Bhoyer, and um, she's very very cute looking and very sweet. Uh, and we needed that kind of a face for the video because that's. the only way to justify what is happening in the video and who shot the video uh, my friend rohit shukre okay yeah, and this is your vision along with him obviously yeah 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 okay so he helped me out and he's and what's coming up next now uh, i don't know film songs i don't don't really know okay um probably this 2.0 has one song of mine mm-hmm. rehman sirs rajnikanth and akshay kumar all these big names so mm-hmm. yeah who are you know. singing for so um this is basically i think akshay kumar's introduction song oh excellent in the film So do you have to like model your voice a little bit like his? He's got a like, higher pitch. No, 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 no. So basically, I think this this song just introduces the character. Okay, the character is not singing. He's in the yeah, 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 yeah. But it's a very aggressive kind of song. But you seem to be very good with mimicry and all that. So you you probably be able to do a different voices. Yeah. You no, know, when you're singing, you know, singing yeah, yeah, style. Yeah, yeah. I I yeah, try to give, give us some examples. A little bit, two two lines. Tujhe dekha to ye jana sanam. Yeah, you get the vibrato and all that. Very good. Next, next. क्या करे क्या ना करे ये कैसी मुश्किल है yeah. कोई तो बता दे इसका हल उमेर भाई के एक तरफ तो उससे प्यार करे हम और उसको ही ये कहने से डरे हम मैन दस डैम गुड डू दे नो प्रीतम नो यू कैन डू ऑल दिस आई डिफरेंट वॉइस यू कैन गेट दे पिक्चर आई थिंक प्रीतम दा नो आई डोंट नो अबाउट रहमान सर रहमान प्लीज एंड गोइंग डाउन साउथ एनी वन सच मेरे यार है बाकी बेकार है दिल के बदले में कोई तो प्यार दे है बाकी बेकार है यार मेरी कमलासन ऐसी वाला सब मैन All right, uh, Nakash Aziz, obviously a great talent. I wish I let him sing more and talk less. Not that he talks badly, but I do. <laughs> and uh, wow, very interesting. And worst part, I'm telling you, if you ever want to change your career, you just do parties. I'm telling you, it'll be a huge hit. You come to some rich guy's party and you just do five, six of these knuckles, and you'll be huge. <laughs> Am I right, Naveen? It's a great idea, man. Let me manage you, boy. Let me manage oh, you. Sir. We'll make lots of money. Because <laughs> you dare call me sir again. See what happens. <laughs> okay, folks. Nakash Aziz, please look out for him. He's an upcoming playback singer. He's going to be very big very soon, and he's going to remember us hopefully and come back and do some more interviews and lots of mimicry and singing which he does. Great talent. We'll take a quick break and come back. Hello there. My name is Naveen Narona, and as a gay person in India, I get asked a lot of stupid questions. A beta? Is it LGBT or eligibility? How do two men procreate? Bro is grinder better than Tinder award. We answer all these questions and much more on my podcast, Keeping It Queer, where I talk to individuals from the LGBT community in India and learn about their personal stories. Catch all the episodes on the IVM podcast app or any other podcasting app you like. Till then, keep it queer. All right, uh, Nakash is going to give us some other. Uh, what kind of music do you like? I like. Uh, you like any English music? Yes, I love Coldplay. Can you do Coldplay? Ka this mimicry singing? Uh, I can try. I don't know if I can nail it because I'm not too confident singing English songs. Uh, just a little conscious. Yeah, come on. I think of you. 
I haven't slept. I think I do. Oh, just don't forget my body moves, moves what I can. If I da da da, na na na, you're always in my head. You're always in my head. Woo! Something like that. Fantastic, man! You really got a talent. So, uh, what what is the real Nakash's voice in all this? Because you know you're doing all these guys. Yeah. You sort of think of the person that you're playback singing or Coldplay fronting or whatever. What is Nakash's real voice? Is there a Nakash or is it just always this other? No, the, the songs that I have sung is. So sing Happy Birthday for me. I just want to hear what your real voice is. Happy Birthday to you. This is Nakash. Happy Birthday. Yeah. This is not Jitender. <laughs> no, And Happy not. Birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, before we go, uh, Nakash Aziz, we're going to give you the music quiz. Okay. I'm going to ask you five questions and see how much you know about music. Oh my God. Okay. First question. Mm. Uh, can you sing any K L Sagal song? Okay. Oh, shit. No I pressure. No pressure. Okay. Just take your time. I don't know. If this is K L Sagal. Huh? Then do Bunty Sagal. He's my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think this is Talat Mehmood. Where I don't. Okay, sing it anyway. Doesn't matter. The quiz is cancelled. Tum pukar lo, tumhara intezar hai. Tum pukar lo. Yeah, it's damn good, yeah. And now I know why Sonu Nigam because Sonu Nigam was also famous for doing all this knuckle and he's got a great, he's a great mimic. Yeah. So I think Nakash has got that same talent. We can pick up the voice, the pitch, and all for our in two minutes. Can you talk like me? <laughs> no. Naveen. I haven't heard him talk actually. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Nakash Aziz, ladies and gentlemen, singer, talent, mimic artist, and Romeo from what I gather. Nakash Aziz, we'll take a break. Come back with the AMAs. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ambika. I'm Hoshna. Over the last couple of years during our travels across India, we've had the privilege to meet and interact with a number of passionate people who are involved in preservation or conservation of a local heritage, art form or culture, or even environment and wildlife. So, in this season, we shine a light on some of these individuals and organizations and the work they are doing. Many of whom are using travel as a means to give back to their communities. By showcasing these wonderful people and bringing their work to a larger audience. It's our small way of aiding the effort and giving you an opportunity to be part of a unique travel experience. New episodes of the Rediscovery Podcast out every Monday on IVM Podcasts. If you have any questions for Cyrus, write to us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or you can send an email to whatcyrussays at gmail dot com. Nakash has left. Uh, wonderful talent, but I've been joined by an even better talent, yeah. Naveen. But I can't do an Udit Narayan voice. Like he did an impeccable job with the Udit Narayan thingy. But Always. you can do your own impressions. What do you do? I do. I've, seen uh, you, I've heard a couple of yours. Uh, I've done like. You do Suresh very well. Do Suresh. Who's Suresh? Who's Suresh? Uh, He's an uh, office boy. Yeah. Jedi. Uh, <laughs> how do I set that up to the people listening? <laughs> like nobody huh? knows Suresh. I thought it was Suresh no. Menon or something. Something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's funnier than us. Yeah. Like Kya she? You stay. You're fired. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> exactly how you do Suresh again. Just Suresh so. basically like he sits in the office and like just set him up properly. Yeah. So Suresh sits in a corner in the office. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> he sits are you, in one corner. Are you actually <laughs> plugging in your other podcast, Naveen? Oh shit. Stop it. <laughs> so. uh He sits there and like when we call out to him, like you know, Shreyas Coffee Law, he'll he'll take his five minutes to come to our desk and he's like, "Kya chahiye?" I'm like, "Coffee." Acha. <laughs> he's like goes away and gets like hmm. coffee chahiye. And he comes back again to ask you what he what you ordered. But what do you tell him just to test him? Say things like, uh, "Anchor mar gaya." Will he still give the same reply? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So basically, uh, we have two office boys. Right? Nitin comes in at one o'clock, yeah. and Suresh is in the morning. So if Nitin doesn't come by because one, because for Suresh three hours is a working day, and then he needs to rest. Yeah. yeah so okay. they both work in the afternoon because the most of the hustle bustle is happening in the afternoon. So when Nitin doesn't come on time, this guy just needs a trigger. Like you know, just have to go. Ki ha, Nitin ya ha. Usko bola maine aane ko nahi aaye. Barabar se kya train par aaye. And just like goes into a hole. <laughs> Okay, so Suresh, later you can listen to it on Naveen's podcast, which is called uh, "Keeping It Queer," and Keeping a new one coming queer. out called "Shits" soon. And called "Shits" for some reason. Can yeah. you vaguely tell us what that's going to be about? It's called "Super Happy Interesting True Stories." And it's, it's anecdotes. And, and you think it's cool to say the word "shit" every time? Well, we do you it all the time. My dad won't like it. Timeline. <laughs> <laughs> the audience is not your dad, so it's okay. 
Yeah, are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> He's been married longer than me. What does he do? <laughs> Jay, right. what's up? First question. Oh, Naveen, what's up? Yeah, you look at me also once. No, no, wait, she's got a big computer which people can't see. You've got a small phone. It's no true. metaphor for anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it can text. Yeah. Uh, First question uh, We all know how much You hate animal haters uh, But what about people Who neither love Or hate animals They are like No uh, I have a problem With people yeah. who are uh, Disconnected and don't Understand animals I, I have a problem With people who hate animals You yeah. know have very hateful Like kill ah, the so dogs he's asking about The neutral Kill ones. the dogs Kill the this Kill the that You know there are people Like that Exterminate mm. Exterminate Those are the You know people Who do, are disconnected It's like if, if you look at Hindus And Muslims Who don't live together mm. And then they have All these stupid views You put yeah. them together And you yeah. see how Everybody can get along Actually yeah. So it's the same thing You know it's just that People are, uh, in urban India just away from animals a lot yeah. We have vegetarian communities Who are supposed to be Very caring towards animals But they are even more Disconnected than the yeah. non-vegetarians yeah. Yeah. This yeah. paradox and hypocrisy Is mind-boggling yeah. right. So that's you know That's my only problem But I, I have another group That I hate I really hate And that's people Who put the AC and fans off Okay, today we had a guy in the gym who comes and says, "I'm feeling cold, I'm feeling cold." Today I felt like strangling him. Okay, I did strangle him, but then they pulled me. And off. now it's proper summertime in Bombay. Now you can't have any no. excuses. I mean, it's a tropical country. The British left in '47 because of the heat. It was not because of anything else. Yeah, yeah. The heat, they couldn't take it. They said, "Let's go." That's it. it. Can't be dungarees in this weather. I'm telling you, I've, no. Listen, we've got to do something about this. If you've got the AC, world's greatest invention, or even a fan, yeah. just don't touch it, please. That's Did all. Did I tell I'm you about the AC train that's come on the Bombay local please line? Do, now? Please do. Please ah, do. So it's amazing. But, but but what about the smells? Somebody There's no smell. There's no, it's because see, it's very no, expensive. The human smell that. that no, people stays who in. are getting to the train are better off, Cyrus. It's so good. No, Baba. There's a thing called body odor. I'm not talking about I know, gas. I know. Now what happens? With body odors after 12 hours of that buggers body odor. Not everyone, but about five percent have real bad body odor. They get in, the body odor stays. They also have. Like a, a purifying system in the well. air. Have you ever got an Uber driver with the guys? You know, I mean, he just smells. All so Uber drivers have like ambipure and stuff. Yeah, that ambipure can't work. Ambipure, but they have like works on system me. that kind of basically like you know cleans the air inside. Like you no, know, it's a it's a two way thing. You guys don't get it. The body odor thing is it's it's like a living mechanism. My point like was that there's AC it's inside local dangerous. trains now, guys. It's a it's a reason to celebrate. Like it's a it's a joyful occasion. JD, act like we go by train, na? Ha ha, ji ha ji. She does. No, I don't. I take the bus. I'm alone in this You're But poor. my point is again <laughs> oh. Now they have AC And they have fans Inside the train So people who feel Ultra hot like me We turn the fans on as well But this is a Mutually incap- incompatible system Because that's hot air And cold air No no So it's cold air Being circulated around With more cool, cooler air From the fans Fans don't work well With ACs huh? they, they, they're killing they the coolness. Beautifully. You're asking a man Who's an expert okay. This is my subject yeah. I just don't want to touch your armpit today. Okay. But what was your point about the uh, train? <laughs> so people still like ask you to turn the fan off if they yeah, have. So what the f- why did they come into the AC compartment? Why do you come into the AC gym? Why do you come into the AC studio? Exactly, exactly. Why, why? Don't come into the AC part. It's like or they want temperature according to their taste. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Oh, yeah. God, don't start me off on this. Yeah. Okay. Next up, uh, we have a question from Sudarshan who says, uh, What the f is wrong with Trump? It's one thing not to enforce gun regulations after the horrific incident, but to actually suggest that teachers should carry gun now is. Uh, and Recommend such a teacher's asinine. <laughs> you know, he's answered the question typical Indian. You yeah. ask a question, answer it yourself, and he's answered it correctly. Yeah, it's asinine. As far as I can, I mean, what more does America want? They they had those fifty nine killed uh, December last week. You guys remember yeah. the highest ever? The guy sits in a hotel and shoots people at a rock concert. I mean, like you know, yeah. uh, fish in a barrel. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Even this, nothing. Yeah, yeah even nothing. the school shooting, right? There were the two Florida. two gun carrying military former Outside. former veterans who were, who were actually there. He ran. Yeah. They ran away when the gun. Well, I'm not, not sure if they ran away, but they, but they, they, they disappeared for some reason. Yeah. They're so, still investigating so, the matter, but sorry, go on. How will you like invest in so much money again buying guns for teachers? No, no, one second. Would you want to send your freaking kid to a freaking school where the teacher's carrying a gun? Trump Listen, supporters teachers okay. get angry too. Exactly. I don't want my freaking. I used to really <laughs> get up teachers' noses. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, the guy will take a gun out and shoot you, your father yeah. will be. No but more B minus. You must have been very bad, you know. <laughs> yeah, no more B minuses. Just like. Yeah! Huck, oh, it, might help, it, it might help education. You th- oh God! Yeah, I just a thought. You think uh, Syria was like this one year ago? When the teacher says go and face the wall, you'll be scared. Like what's oh happening? God, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what if he says get the blindfold? <laughs> uh, okay, next question. Uh, this one from Varun. George Carlin once said, "Scratch any cynic, and you will find a disappointed idealist." Hmm. Cyrus is the quote true? Did any of you have disappointments that made you a cynic? If yes, then what are they? Where does he live? Varun. Where does he live? If he lives in India, so what's she talking about? Yeah, Disappointment is part of the deal. It's a part of, yeah. You grow up and you're disappointed. That's the way it is. <laughs> Maybe all over the world, actually. Why should we just knock India? But he's were a, you ever an idealist, like at, at one point in your life, like a starry eyed? Well, uh, I'll tell you what, when I was seven years old, I wanted to be, my dad is six foot tall, so I wanted to be tall. I thought I'd be really rich. I thought I'd have my own mansion, you know, my own country, perhaps. Mm. None of that worked out. I still live with my parents, I'm short. So, you know, th- life sucks. 
disappointments everywhere. I think, in fact, we should go the other way mm. and train our children and the next generation to just aim really low yeah. and just expect nothing. Say, look, you're a loser, you're a wastrel, you're going nowhere, the world sucks, infrastructure is terrible, there's no hope, there's racism, there's communalism, there's caste disharmony, there's nuclear proliferation, countries hate each other, nations hate each other, cultures hate each other, religions hate each other. So just end your life, go into the gutter and shut it. What? <laughs> that's not an excuse. Don't do that, please. Uh, I think that's. Or don't just don't give birth to kids. Maybe. Yeah. That will reduce the population. So, also. so listen. Many of time, many of the times, we weren't planning to. Please understand. This is India again. That's another disappointment. <laughs> don't use plastic bags. Use condoms. You know, people actually use plastic bags. No. There are like I have JD's. Have JD's stories. not impressed. Huh? I have stories. Anyways, uh, so my point when I was they like, use plastic bags to save money. So think of the noble <laughs> gesture there. Yeah. And after that, they take it shopping as well. Yeah, they, they have to be certain uh, level of uh, yeah education thickness isn't? thickness to the so plastic. plastic does come in handy. Who says? <laughs> well, our country is going to go plastic. There's uh, no cash, no currency, no paper. It's going to be yeah. all plastic. So, but so but, we're doing one for the environment. Plastic everywhere. But regards to being the idealist situation, like even what I was. About you talk about yourself. When I was growing up, I want to run away. Like I read uh, Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn, and I was like, okay, I'm taking a raft and getting out of this. But you're living wherever you you're in a Pawai Lake. No, what so Bainder has a creek, by the way. Oh, correct. So from the creek, you, you want to call it creek? It's a Just creek. call it a water body. Yeah. So then a creek is a water body. Yeah. So <laughs> you're giving it a very loving touch. But it's a nice uh, place to go. It's a, it's a well done area where people. You know what rhymes with creek? Meek Quick Now hurry up It doesn't There's a smaller uh, Come on Come on So uh, I would always dream of Like you know Taking a raft and going away Because why would you go To an island far away Which island is this Anyone Because if you land up in Vasai You've really not gone far <laughs> That's true Yeah So then <laughs> Go to Nayagao Which is in the middle Nayagao Well done brother <laughs> oh, this, is, this is what Mark Twain wrote about uh, In Huckleberry Finn Just but, take a left from uh, Bayandar And keep going straight less people Towards the there. Texas border <laughs> But we used to do that So like you know There's a Who's we My friends and I you actually took a raft? Yeah, yeah. And went where? To the to the island. But we Which realized, bloody island? Some I mean, cheap, small little so okay, piece of land. Okay, you, you stand at the behind the creek, you can see an entire mold of like mangroves, which are basically not an island. And you think that's the promised land? Exactly. Lead I was, your I people was eight there. years old. Start a new nation. I was eight years old. You're a twit! <laughs> <laughs> why did you stay there? <laughs> because it was mangroves and I was sinking inside. You so like they, mangroves. <laughs> <laughs> that's true too. Jedi, you're not contributing. Then they'll say sexism. The two men were talking and she didn't say a word. You know, they treated her like My cheeks a... are hurting from all that. What? <laughs> oh, Jesus. That was close. I might have to go to the island myself. <laughs> That's it. Thank you for listening. Cyrus says, over and out. I'm speaking to Mars. Okay, catch us on any of the podcasting apps, please. We beg you, we need you. If you have any questions, write to us online and uh, you can mail us as well. We will answer. We have a doctor in the house called May. And that's what Cyrus says. As you can see, we have a podcast listener in his natural habitat. Millions of years of evolution have led him to this point. He's on his way to work and listening to podcasts makes his miserable day better. He will now head to work and use all his knowledge to communicate with other colleagues and possibly future mates. You can find more of his species on ivmpodcasts.com, your one-stop destination where you can check out all the coolest Indian podcasts. Happy listening.